Hello and welcome to Mods in Testing List FS19. New mods today in the Mod Hub update. And we have an update for the Mods in Testing List. So let's go to the list and see what's going on. So going back to yesterday's Mods in Testing failures for PCR, the CR6, which is a bit of a shame, Global Company CCM Mill and Pack Shed Prefab. Now going on for mods and testing for console, the Dutz Condemaster 7621, the Ferguson Pack, the New Holland T6 and the Ray Sparum or Aspirum or whatever the hell that is. And that is your lot for failures for the mods and testing. So what about what's new in today? Let's go and have a look what's new. And we start off from the top, we have the adapter for the telescopic loader to dot dot dot. Then the beacon light's still there. We got beacon light LED, and then new in is the case IH Optum. The class Mega Pack is back in, and then also we have the Humus Bale Trailer 8.85, the Juskin Bestie Max RDS 7500, and the Sapphire MES 400. The Stockman is also a new one, and a Sintrack is in the list. So that's it for PC. So what about new for mods and testing console? And we have the Brick House, the Campaign of France, Black Sheep Modding map just coming out. And Chicken Coop, the CR6 is back in for, well he's in for console for the first time. And then the Kawaka Radium 45, the Manure and TMR Palette, Metal Cows Barn, Metal Tech TB Pack, New Holland T7, Prosimus Outback Safety bumper another map shamrock valley 19 then the sip orion 25 the sms lv 520t is still there that's been in for weeks and then the stratman vs 2004 is a new one as is the taz lizard and the vadastead rapid a 600 800 tram line and also the water milk trailer and the wood lifter which is a mystery one so number of mods awaiting testing is 83 and work days has dropped back down. It's gone to five work days. So what about the mod hub? Let's go and have a look at the mod hub update. And we have the brewery Fieldmaster 20, Bergman TSW 6240W, the Gorink Grazer, Pig Shed, Container Office, the Agrimet Pioneer Z609, Face Gilbert and the Wilton PRB17000. The Snowblower Esco is finally out. That was in and out in testing for weeks. And then also the last one, Nordtron Dilag. And that is your lot for today and this week. So not a bad week. We've had quite a few mods. I'll do a weekly roundup tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And if you did, always appreciate you smash that like button for me. And if you're new to my channel, Go and check out one of my hundreds of farming simulator videos. Right, I'll do a new mods later, which should be at probably about 8, 9 o'clock-ish. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.